Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Divine Mercy Chaplet, three o'clock. I'm Beth Sheely from St. Paul Street Evangelization, and I'm joined by Bob Wilson. How are you doing today, Bob? Good afternoon, Beth. I am doing well. We had our staff Christmas party last night, and I ate myself full. <laughs> It was so fun. All the children, they were playing hangman on uh, all with Christmas, Christmas theme things. It was, it was really fun. It was good it's to always... see everybody and their families. Amen. Yes. Yes. Um, I was wondering if today, one of the things we could pray in a special way for, were um, everyone, our listeners, and, and then also all of our team leaders and the missionaries that are facing this holiday season for the first time without a loved one. Uh, many people lost loved ones this year, and that, that first Christmas is, is always so difficult. So I would like to include that in our prayers. Is that okay? It's a good idea. Yes. All right. I'm going to let you lead the prayer, though. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Lord. We love you for all your blessings. We adore you. We're sorry for our sins. Thank you for all our blessings, for coming to earth as a baby to save us all from our brokenness. And we pray that you bless this apostolate, bless our world, draw all your sons and daughters to you so that they can be converted, sanctified, and saved. And help us to be great evangelists. Pray for everybody we've ever evangelized and everyone we ever will that you convert them and save them. For our listeners, we pray that you bless them and answer their prayers as well. For our leaders in government on every level, and the leaders in our church, that you would help them to lead according to your will. And we want to lift up everyone who's lost someone in the past year, that you comfort them, and that through this trauma, that uh, they are brought closer to you. And we ask for all these things in the great name of Jesus. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. And an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy. Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. All blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. All blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. All blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh, Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for praying with us. It's so good to have prayer partners and to have us get together every day. Um, thank you all. Know that we're praying for you. So if you didn't put your intention in the comment section, you can do it now. Uh, again, we're St. Paul Street Evangelization. You can find us on streetevangelization.com. Check out all the great tools and resources we have to help you evangelize. I know many of you will be getting together with people that you don't see every day with your family or friends, and it'll be good to be able to um, share with them the beauty and truth, beauty and goodness of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The reason for the season, right? That's it. God became like a man so we could become like a God and have eternal life. Yeah, that's, uh, I think St. Athanasius said that, but I might be wrong. It could have been, could have been, could have been St. Aquinas, St. Augustine. I don't know. It starts with an A, I'm sure, though. Could be Ambrose. There's another hey. one. <laughs> <laughs> Aloysius, for all I know. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing being a part of the Catholic Church and having all these great saints. We stand on the shoulders of giants. I know. The, just to just to embrace the beauty um and just really take time to think about how jesus did come to earth so that we could go to heaven right yeah and here check this out when we go to heaven we can just kick it with those guys talk to me about what it was life was like to be a christian in the fifth century the 12th century all the struggles and it's going to be pretty right cool. I know we think about right now and all the struggles going on now with the pandemic kind of, you know, still around and all the unrest and everything else. And we think, gosh, it's, it's just hard to find joy. And um, it, it dawned on me that um, when you read St. Paul's letters to the um, Philippians, to the um, Ephesians, and he talks about count it all joy, count it all joy. And, he, he, and he's always uplifting and talking about joy. And I'm thinking he wrote those from the prison in Rome when they were being persecuted, when they had Roman candles 
which is Christians mounted on a platform, put set fire to them right there in the street. Yeah. And at that point, in that circumstance, he said, count it all joy. It's important to recognize as it wasn't like everything was roses and butterflies when he was writing this. Our hope, our hope is in eternity with Jesus. And we need to have that joy, no matter what's going on around here. I know it's a temporary life. Eternity is forever. And that's bliss. That's ecstasy. And I mean, so compared to that, who cares what happens to us here? I mean, yeah. all the, the more we can suffer. I, I think it was St. Faustina who said, you know, nobody in heaven has the same degree of glory. And I would go through all the sufferings, all the torture of every martyr in history just to have one degree higher of glory. Yeah. So, right, yeah. you know. And there was another saint who said something like, if we knew the, the value of suffering, that's all we would wish for. Mm -hmm. Or even the value of prayer. Sometimes people think, I'm just not feeling it, or it's not doing anything. It's just words, but it's supernatural. Mm -hmm. It is supernatural. The value of prayer, offering mass, you know, the prayers after communion, when you lift up people, people in purgatory, your, your loved ones, people struggling, there's so much value in that. So yeah. don't forget that. And when you pray, when you don't feel like it, it's got more merit because <laughs> it's yeah. like a sacrifice. It's more of a sacrifice. It is. It is. And the uh, evil one's always in there saying, you don't need to pray now. You can pray later. You don't really yeah. feel like it. You got I company. Always... You got company. You got people staying with you. Isn't that silly? It's so silly how, how you know, the devil works in our ways or, or just our own flesh and, you know, our own weakness. We kind of like, oh, yeah. Anyway. I want to wish everyone a Merry, Merry Christmas. I'm not going to be praying with you um, for the rest of the week. So I just want to wish everyone a Merry, Merry Christmas. And I hope you have a beautiful time um, with your family and friends, or even if you're just on your on a, yourself today, on, I'm sorry, all by yourself this year, for whatever reasons, just know that God is always with you and we're with you in spirit and we are always praying for you. Praise God. And I will see you with Randy tomorrow. So I'll say Merry Christmas then. <laughs> okay. Well, God bless.